In today's video we're going to cover another cool M.2 SSD. This is Silicon Power UD90 with 1TB of storage. And what I love about Silicon Power is they give you enough speed, they give you a nice price, and they give you a really low temperature without a passive heatsink. And it's a single-sided M.2, so basically the chips are only on one side. These are the temperatures without the passive heatsink from the motherboard, so 59 degrees Celsius in full stress, well, stress testing it in a couple of benchmarks, uh, sequentially without stopping and it went up to 59 degrees Celsius without even having a passive heatsink or anything. This is really remarkable and I do have to say really amazing. Now when we're talking in terms of the speeds we have something uh, not full Gen 4 times 4 going up to 7 gigabits per second we're talking about somewhere in the middle and the speeds are something like this. I was surprised actually because I usually prefer Crystal Disk Mark when we're talking about in general benchmarks. But here in Autodisk benchmark we got quite interesting speeds. So for read we got 6.56 gigabits per second, write 4.71 gigabits per second. And this pairs up, if we take Autodisk benchmark into consideration, pairs up with XPG Gamix S70 blade. Now in AS SSD we have 4049 megabytes per second read speeds and 4154 megabytes per second write speeds. In Crystal Disk Mark, when we're talking about read speeds, 5057 megabytes per second, while write speeds go up to 4613 megabytes per second. IOPS Random 4K in Crystal Disk Mark read goes up to 550,000. IOPS and write speeds go up to 940k IOPS. Now, if we take into consideration some of the other SSDs that I tested, so for write speeds in Crystal Disk Mark, we have placement uh, like 4613 megabytes per second, which is just somewhere below Sabrent Rocket 4 plus Gen 4 times 4, but definitely above US 70 from Silicon Power, which has 4270. Now, if we go with read speeds, it has 5057 megabytes per second, which is also above Silicon Power US 70, but way below for 2 gigabits uh, beneath Sabrent Rock and 4 Plus, Asgard, and the XPG Gamix. So, that's quite interesting. It has quite brilliant write speeds, but the read speeds are way below and they pair up. But let's let's take something else into consideration. So on their official website, it states that read speeds go up to 4,800 megabytes per second. We got 1,500 megabytes per second. Write speeds go up to 4,200 megabytes per second. We got 4,600 megabytes per second. In almost all benchmarks, it destroys and actually does much better than what they stated on their website, which is outstanding, of course. Now, when we're talking about some general specifications, we have NVMe 1.4 plus HMB, which is host memory buffer. This uh, M.2 SSD is basically designed with content creators in mind, which gives you a possibility for uh, handling demanding levels for multitasking, for creative production effortlessly uh, working uh, in those terms. So it uh, gives us uninterrupted productivity with high performance and low latency. This is really cool and this is also what I stated, it doesn't heat up without the passive heatsink and this gives us a possibility also to even lower the temperature with the passive heatsink and prevent thermal throttling. One of the features also is LDPC which is low density parity check which gives the SSD ability to handle the speed reliably. SLC caching also gives this SSD, um, let's say, improved sequential read-write speeds and random read-write performance just because of it. And at the same time, it supports LDPC coding to ensure accuracy of data transmission and reliability of data access. Now, there's also an uh, SP or Silicon Power Toolbox, which gives you a drive info, SSD health, wear out count, block info, diagnostic scan, performance test, and secure erase. Now, this can be downloaded for free on their official website. Estimated mean time before failure is 1.5 million hours, and shock resistance is 
1500 G in 0.5 milliseconds. It comes in variety of storage capacity from 250 and 500 gigabytes and one terabyte of storage that we have right here. So all in all, so far I was really satisfied with all of their M.2 SSDs and even 2.5 inch SSD, not to mention the RAMs. But testing out this one with 59 degrees Celsius in those speeds, which aren't the top of the line, I would say with Gen 4 times 4 but still, still, temperature is quite remarkable and it works perfect. And I would definitely recommend the UD90 for creativity, for productivity, still giving you some reliability with consistency in data transfer. And I think you won't regret it because as I already stated a couple of times in my other M.2 SSD reviews for Silicon Power, I'm still running two with lower generation, so Gen 3 times for uh, in my PC constantly for productivity and all these videos that are recorded goes on them and directly render from them. So I'm quite satisfied with that. And I think they're already two years old and they're perfectly uh, writing. So you can't go wrong with that. You can check out the links in the description. And of course, if you're new to the channel, if you want to see more future videos, don't forget to subscribe and hopefully I will see you in those ones as well. Thank you for watching today's one. See you next time. Bye-bye.